So, uh, I know I haven't vlogged the restaurant in probably about a few weeks, because you know, financially had some other things to take care of, but I was out here vlogging the uh, East Nashville market. I wanted something to eat and I could have went plenty of places, I just wanted to come here again. Saying to come back to Hattie B's, uh, I'm just going to try a little bit, try to eat hotter chicken this time, and just get more than just one piece. And then I actually got some waffles, uh, some mac and cheese, and once again got some of their grits, because their grits are amazing. But uh, yeah man, been a pretty good day. Uh, went to, did I go to work? Yeah, I went to work. Well, no, I got some like pimento, pimento mac and cheese for some reason. I like pimento cheese down here. I mean, I love it. And then you got some, I think that's bacon cheese grits right here. Even though it look like they burnt them already. That mac and cheese is pretty good. But the noodles, they kind of super soft like they overcooked it, but it's still good. You can taste the pimento and the cheese, though. And I got some waffles. They waffles real good, too. They, uh, can't never go wrong. They grits. They grits be fire as hell. I'm just super fire. I love it. You know what I mean? But we definitely got some, some more chicken. And it's hot, because I just ate that pickle, and that pickle had my ass hot. Every damn is choking. I could have went to another Hattie B's, but the other Hattie B's that I know of, they be having long ass lines. Like super long lines. It's some grit stuff, I ain't gonna lie. If you're a grit fan, definitely go to Hattie B's, try their grits. You know they put onions in them. You gotta, get, you gotta be used to the onion. Got some of they got the ranch, and then I got some of the uh, comeback sauce. It's kind of like some, it's kind of like barbecue sauce. They overcooked the shit out these fries though. They super crunchy. I mean crunchy crunchy. A waffle hard shell too. I'm gonna snack that though. Food be fire. I know um, we went here a few times since the vlog, but I haven't vlogged it though, you know what I mean? But I like, yeah, I need to vlog this place again. You know what I mean? I mean, I'll food is good. It's super good. Hey, uh, yeah, no, that, that market was pretty cool. They had some pretty cool uh, vendors in there. A lot of different vendors too. I noticed again they didn't have any uh, people selling clothes. I did see a lady selling soap, but she also had goat milk. Other products besides just goat soap, she actually had goat milk. And she had like some, some goat cheese dip, I think. Something like that. Something like that. She had game one hub. Huh? The fudge pops. They pretty good though. Oh, man. You know how to eat it all. But it's pretty good. She was saying something about being regulated by the government or something. Because it was raw goat milk. Mac and cheese I right. they ain't really hitting like that. But I know the comeback sauce by as hell though. I ain't tried it on the chicken though. And Bradford. I don't know why I ain't know it was Bradford. As much as I come around here. I Man over there slow clapping like a scary movie. Oh, I am. A waffle fire. We don't even need no syrup on them. Waffle fire. We're gonna put a little syrup on them. Ah damn. He really don't need any syrup. It's already sweet. Jesus Christ. It's fine. 
Oh yeah, you don't need no syrup. Jackie don't need no syrup. I got all this food. I'm trying to make some food when I go home. Edit some video. Like usual. That shit fire. I mean fire. <laughs> I mean good. Right. They really put quality in their food. Like every time. Like I said, I ain't never been disappointed. I'm about to eat this hot ass chicken. You know, they be frying the shit out this chicken. Look. The hot season be all right. Tastes a lot of paprika. Definitely can taste paprika. That comeback sauce, fly though. Kind of remind me of that Zaxby sauce. Or that Bojangles sauce. Whatever sauce all these chicken places use. It's the same, man, it's the same color. Here's what it look like. It, look, even though I just wasted, <laughs> but that's what it looked like. Kind of got like that uh, Big Mac sauce look, like Thousand Island dressing. Good fire though. Definitely don't know what they put in this shit. No oh, shit, fire. Fire, fire. Ain't no reason to eat the ketchup. Get the ketchup. Let's eat your comeback stuff. Damn, that's a big ass piece of chicken. They fry the shit out this shit though. I'll give them up. I mean, fry the shit out this shit. It's a little juicy though. I don't like fat ass chicken. But it still tastes amazing. <laughs> I already shipped everything, yo. Grits, gone. Macaroni, man. Really wasn't feeling that mac and cheese like that. I don't know, I'm not really big mac and cheese fan. I just like pasta. I gotta love pasta. Now I feel as though. You shouldn't be able to get pasta wrong. Like, yeah. No, definitely shouldn't get pasta wrong. They got it wrong. I got, like I said, love that pimento cheese. That comeback sauce, five hell, bro. I go get some more of that. For real, for real. So tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get off work. I'm gonna check out that other market. I'm just trying to check out a few of these markets. Uh, just see what they got going on. I heard they got a bunch of them. They got some in Donaldson, some in Smyrna. I know about the ones in Murfreesboro Road, but sometimes I just don't feel like traveling that far. Just go to a market, you know what I mean? But that's the grind about this. You gotta constantly put your hours in. I ain't got to pop put my hours in. Like I told y'all, once we start getting the bag, Gonna be traveling to different cities doing the same thing. It's gonna be called around Cincinnati, around New York, around Las Vegas, wherever I go. Or around Nashville, the Las Vegas edition, or around Nashville, the Chicago edition. So, now I wanna change the around Nashville thing, but going to different cities, I might have to. See, that's why I say my roundabouters. And then when I say city nights, that's why I say my night hours. And then with the vlog and you know, the detail, I say detail world, detail world. And then, you know, with the look of into an entrepreneur, I say uh, entrepreneurs. And then in my kids' video, we say young world. So we got our little tags for each video. You know what I mean? I got, I got another idea I'm going to definitely present probably about the end of summer where it won't be so hot with people willing to talk. We're going to definitely take a run at it. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be sort of like city nights, but we're gonna change this to call city nights, city nights, uh, city nights, night, city, city night life. 
style videos and we're gonna actually have this pod we actually had a camera on the tripod uh had the lights out there you know stop people and have them talk to the camera let us know what they think about the city and what they where they from you know the basics i'm not gonna do too much crazy shit you may just ask one little question about how they feel about today's society whatever's on my mind at the time so you know what i mean i'm gonna run in here and get some old stuff I right, swear so I just got some Sprite and that shit's trash. I don't even understand how people even drink pop. Pop is ugh. You know? You might hit a Dr. Pepper every now and then. I might drink a Dr. Pepper once a month. Really? If that. I don't even buy pop. Like seriously. You won't catch a two liter of pop in my house. I buy a lot of juice though. You know. And a lot of lemonade. But you'll never find no Dr. Pepper, no Coca-Cola, no Sprite. No Fanta. I may drink some ginger ale. You know what I mean? That's a black people remedy for sickness. <laughs> but what about it? Like seriously, I can't even recall the last time I bought some pop to put in my refrigerator. You see, that's why flavor sparkling water has become the big thing because so many people are trying to get away from pop. You know what I mean? That pop ain't no good for you. It ain't no good for you. It ain't good for your kidneys. It ain't good for your liver. And then people are like, oh, you drink beer? But I guarantee you, you'll get a kidney infection faster by drinking just pop. You know what I mean? Most of you be drunk and you be an alcoholic. Maybe lazy. You know what I mean? Maybe smart addictly, but it ain't gonna mess up your kidneys faster than beer. I don't know if you can get sclerosis of the liver just drinking beer, though. I know you can get sclerosis of the liver from drinking, but how much beer you gotta drink <laughs> to get sclerosis of the liver? It's a lot of beer. So, you know, most alcohol. But most hard liquors be like 80 proof. It mean like 40% alcohol. Well, your average beer probably got 4.6 alcohol in it. Unless you're drinking a high gravity IPA or malt liquor. But your Heineken's, your Coronas, your Budweiser, your Beck's. The Dozakis, all those beers sit between 4.0 and 4.6 when it comes to drinking alcohol. But you get something like a 211, and that's something that's something different. <laughs> and I asked the dude when we were doing the beer. I didn't even drop that episode. Did I even edit that episode? Damn. I need to go home and edit the episode. Hmm. I have not. I'm definitely gonna go home and do that. Definitely. Man, it's chicken fried up. And I got hot. It ain't even hot. It ain't like Princess Chicken hot. Princess, princess chicken hot burn the shit out your mouth. Seriously. Like, on fire. I mean, fire! <laughs> but, I did kill everything. Except for a piece of chicken and a waffle. I'm gonna take that home. But I know probably about 11 o'clock. I'm gonna get the munchies. So, in the process of getting the munchies, 
I'm gonna definitely save me some food because I don't feel like cooking. I mean, the last two weeks I've been cooking, like every day I was cooking, full course meals. Yes, I mean, y'all see me cook. Like, when you go back, like, last year sometime, I had a cooking, I had this cooking on the channel, but I couldn't see myself cooking on the channel all the time. I don't want to fall into something that I'm not gonna continuously do. That's why I stopped doing the car meets on the channel because I'm not a car meet guy. I'm not into cars like that, you know what I mean? I understand I own a detailer business, but I don't like, I don't love cars to the point where I'm gonna go to car, uh, car meet. I don't love guns like that, so I won't be going to gun stores. Uh, but I do like talking to the people. So y'all will see a lot more of me talking to people on the channel, still going to restaurants, markets, uh, stores, things like that. Uh, definitely, like I say, next year we're going to do a lot more traveling. You know, I did so much traveling in the last two years, I had to sit my ass down. Like, I looked at the miles that I traveled in 2021. I think I clocked in like 27,000 miles driven on my car. And I was driving out of town like every other weekend or every weekend. So, yeah. But on that note. This is Sprite. That shit trash, man. Trash. Say no to pop. <laughs> they say say no to drugs, say no to pop. That shit ain't no good for you. Ain't no good for you, man. But, this is another episode of Around Nashville. Is this Around Nashville? So yeah, we didn't did two episodes of Around Nashville today. First we did the farmer's market. Now we at Hattie B, so these videos will probably be up uh, Thursday, Wednesday maybe, uh, cause Friday already got video, Friday video posted, which every Friday, I will make sure every Friday I got an episode of City Nights dropping every Friday. So that's that's a guarantee that y'all will get a City Nights every Friday. I know I dropped two City Nights in a row. Only reason I did that because I had all that footage and I didn't want to hold that one to another week and then have this one, then I'll be backed up on City Nights. But when I do travel to other cities, how I'm gonna do it, um, I'm gonna go out on two two nights. Say if I go to Memphis, I go out on a Friday, I go out on a Saturday, and that'll be two episodes of City Nights. So you know what I mean? So I can stretch that out unless, if it got enough going on. But uh. Y'all already know the script. I'ma say what? Huh? I, what you say? Yeah, I'ma say that. Yeah, I'ma say love thyself. You can't love nobody unless you love yourself. You can love this food because you need some food to eat. But yeah, man, y'all already know the script, man. You can't love nobody unless you love yourself, man. You know what I mean? Self love is like everything, man. Like you gotta have that innate ability to love yourself, man. Cause it's like I said, if you don't love yourself, ain't nobody gonna love you. People will misuse you, mistreat you, all that. So on that note, like always, look in that mirror, say one love, kiss the mirror, whatever you gotta do, man. And we ain't talking about practice and kissing, just kiss the mirror. Like, ooh, I love you, T. Wow. Whoever the hell looking at this video. But on that note, like always, man. Dude. Oh, Watch T.Y. 38. <laughs>